So this is another example where I'm going to solve an absolute value equation. This time, the absolute value is already isolated, so that's good. On the right-hand side, it's equal to 4x plus 6. So I can already skip to step two where I set up my two equations, but you need to be extra careful here because the first equation, you can just write this as is. 3x minus 2 equals 4x plus 6, and you're good without absolute value bars. For the second equation, remember, we have to make one side negative or change the signs on one side. So notice I put 4x plus 6 in parentheses with the negative in front. So when you set up your two equations, one of them is just you're bringing down the original equation without absolute value signs. The other one, you're going to change signs. But for this, because I've got a 4x and a 6, you need to make sure that you distribute the negative to every term on that side. So now you are going to distribute the negative to give you negative 4x minus 6 on that side. And now you've got two equations to solve for x. So I encourage you to pause the video and do that on your own because I will not be going through every single step here. I will just explain them. So this is what you should have gotten. You should have had x equals negative 8 and x equals negative 4 over 7. So look over my work, pause it if you have to. You need to make sure that you know how to solve these equations. Now, in my last video, I told you that you need to check your work, and it is especially important for this one. What I'm going to do is plug in negative 8, and I'm going to plug in negative 4 over 7 into that original equation and see if the left-hand side equals the right-hand side. Again, if you want to do this on your own, I highly recommend you do that. So pause the video, try it, and see if both answers work. So this is what you should be doing. And now hopefully you've had enough time to try this. You can see in my work that one of these answers does not match. When you plug in negative 8, you would end up with negative 26 in the absolute value sign. But then on the right hand side, you get negative 26. And if you know what absolute value means, it means distance from zero. If you were to take the absolute value of negative 26, you are not going to get negative 26. The answer to that would be positive 26. So negative 8 would not be one of my answers, but negative 4 over 7, you can see, does work. I know people hate fractions, but what I did was I changed 2 into 14 over 7 and I changed 6 into 42 over 7 so that I was able to add my numerators and combine those fractions. And you can see that we have the absolute value of negative 26 over 7 on one side, and that does indeed equal a positive 26 over 7. So our only answer is negative 4 over 7 here.